Today we're going to continue looking at brace expansions and uh, today we're going to be looking at using ranges with numbers. So here's a simple example. This is something I've gone over previous tutorials a long time ago, but it's a very useful feature that I'm going to uh, show you guys again, show you probably a few things that I didn't show you in the original tutorial. I'm going to say echo and then using our braces, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 0 dot dot 100. And what happens when I hit enter is, as you can see, it counts from 0 to 100. I can do a uh, range from 0 to 10. And I can also start at a different number. So I can say 50 to 100. Now, I bet you're asking what happens if you go 50 to 10. Well, it counts from 50 down to 10. So you have your beginning number, dot, dot, your ending number. Another thing you can do is count in certain intervals. So let me clear this out. And we'll say this time 0 dot dot 100. So we're going to count from 0 to 100. But I'm going to say dot dot 10, which means we'll be counting in intervals of 10. So we'll be going from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so forth and so on to 100. Just like so. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, blah, blah, blah. And of course, you can count at any intervals you want. So if I do 2, we'll count by 2s to 100. And just like before, you can change these numbers. We'll say 50 to 100 counting by twos, or 50 to counting down to 10 by twos. So uh, that's a quick look at, um, oh, there's one more thing I want to show you. Um, let's say you want to number uh, files or, or just have a list of numbers. And You'll always have an issue if you go 1 and you count to like 100 because 1 and 10 and 100 are going to end up next to each other because they all start with 1. So what you need to do is you need to pad the number with zeros. Well, that's easy to do with the brace expansion. So I'm going to say echo our braces. Oops. And what I'm going to do here is we'll say we'll start off with 1 dot dot 10. And there we go. We have 1 through 10. But like I said, we want to pad the numbers. So what we'll do is we'll say 0, 1 through 10. And you can see it pads any single digit number you know, up to 10. And then 10 doesn't have a 0 because if it did, that would screw up what we're trying to do. So it's great. So let's do 0 to 100 padding. And as you can see, we got 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 4, so forth, so on, blah, blah, blah. When we get to 10, we have 0. Just 1, 0, 10, 0, 11, 0, 12. And then when we get to 100, it no longer pads. And we can also say, you know, 200 if we wanted. And you can see the 0 padding stops at 100. So that can come in very useful, once again, when it comes to renaming files in a certain order. Um, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.